here at Todd Wells uh, Eagle Outdoor Festival. You guys had a pretty solid race out there today. A lot of fast guys showed up uh, close to home. Tell me about it. Yeah, um, you know, this, this Eagle Outdoor Festival is awesome. Found out about it just a couple days ago and um, you know, Ben Sontag actually told me about it and decided to load up the car and it's nice to be able to drive to a race. You know, it's less than five hours from home, so great to come up here and we've been lucky in Colorado this week. It's been a little bit rainy and the trails are in awesome shape, so you know, the trails today were great. In the beginning I found myself off with my brother and Fernando. We rode together for the first couple of laps and then uh, Fernando put in an attack kind of stretched things out and I countered and from there on for maybe the, the second half of the race pretty much rode by myself and it was um, you know just a bit of a time trial out there but it was great you know it was fun to start here in Eagle Ranch and roll up on the road neutral start we also had a kind of neutral start at the Whiskey 50 so that's about as opposite as you can get from a World Cup start where it's just you know pegged right off the gate so um, I could get used to these nice neutral starts, but uh, roll in, get the legs warmed up a hair. Exactly, you're not sitting on the start line, and your heart rate is already, you know, maxed out, just getting ready to go, and it's just like a war out there in those races. So this was nice, very civilized start. Uh, did it become uncivilized once you turned off of the uh, <laughs> onto that haystacker road, and then it was kind of willy nilly, first person to the single track? Yeah, well, we turned onto haystacker and. Um, one of the Topeak Ergen guy, Ergen guys um, was sitting actually right on the, the moto or whatever the golf cart. The golf cart. So we were like motor pacing out there up the climb. It worked out perfect for me because I got into the single track first. Just sat on his wheel, who was drafting behind the golf cart, and then made it into the single track first and. Um, you know, from then on, it's nice. I was able to ride the course yesterday, knew it a little bit, so I wanted to try to take advantage of a lot of guys came up, you know, and they didn't have a chance to see the course in that first lap. I wanted to, you know, do as, go as hard as I could to see if we could cause some separation. Nice, and it, it looked like it strung out kind of quickly. I know when you guys came through on the second, like gaps were forming already. Yeah, definitely. Um, we split up into a group of three right after the uh, finish area on that um, double track climb. Pretty much from, you know, that's maybe five or ten minutes into the race. And like I said, we rode as a group of three for the first half of the race and then things split up and we were on our own. Yeah. And, you know, course-wise, uh, a lot of single track, there's some paved climbs to it too. Did that come into play or did you just bite down on the bar and like get it <laughs> over with when you get that pavement, the climbing section on Yeah. It? Well, it was nice when we were a group because we could, you know, swap poles a little bit on the pavement. You get a little bit of recovery. But um, it's funny, that's, you know, I went hard before that one long pavement climb and that's where I actually got my gap. Yeah. on that pavement climb. That climb was, I thought it was much harder than the Bailey uh, single track climb even. It, I rode it yesterday and it seemed a little bit open, like you were kind of just, it just seemed harder, I don't know why. Maybe it was wind or maybe it was just, it was, you could actually go as hard as you could go on the climb. Yeah, well, you know, you see a kind of false flat gradual uphill pavement climb, you feel like you should be going fast. Um, the other steeper climb on the Bailey's Trail, you you can tell it's a climb. It looks steep. You just feel it feels like you, it's okay to go slow, but that pavement climb, you can just you know keep digging and digging, and um, you really have to push yourself on it. Sweet. So there's talk next year they <laughs> everything works out. They might be running even more single track up into the hills, more and better. Is that going to entice you to get back here if you can work it in the schedule? Definitely. You know, I love racing at home in Colorado, and anytime I have the chance to get to a race here, it's um, always nice. I was telling somebody, um, two weeks ago I raced the Whiskey 50. That was about a six-hour drive. Last weekend I did this race in New Mexico that I could ride to from the house. And now this weekend, up here in Eagle, you know, less than a five-hour drive, I'm, I'm getting so spoiled, you know. For us in the U.S., we usually have to get on a plane just to do a domestic race, let alone a World Cup race, so this has been awesome. Awesome. That's plenty. Thanks so much, man. Congrats.